Driving down south from Perth can be a bit of a nightmare. I don't know about you, but I'm always late. The kids are always fighting over an iPad and someone's forgotten a shoe or there's no petrol in the car. About an hour in, you hear that whinging cry from the back seat. Are we there yet? That's my cue. Stop for a pie. Great news. At the Perth Royal Food Awards this year, my favourite place to stop has taken out best pie in the show. And this is what I'm after today. Look at this. The seafood paella pie made by the lovely folk here at the Miami Bakehouse. Look at this. This is the engine room. It's pie central for the guys here at Miami Bakehouse. Let's have a look behind the scenes and find out what goes into making these award-winning handheld morsels of deliciousness. Gary Fellows is a pastry chef by trade and the bakery manager here at Miami Bakehouse, which over the years has taken out more than 750 awards. It's a big operation with a big heart and they should be proud of how hands-on they are. That looks pretty good. How many of those do you make a year? OK, so these bad boys, we actually make 450,000 every year. Oh, wow. We have 18 on our main menu, but uh, different varieties, and we also produce uh, one pie of the week every week for the whole year. Uh, I saw one of those award-winning show pies out the front. Almost looked too good to eat. It's uh, won an award, hasn't it? That's right. That was our seafood paella. <laughs> that is part of our pie of the week, and that won champion pie at the Royal Show. So, what's the judging criteria to win greatest pie on the planet? Different uh, facets were uh, the texture, uh, colour, flavour and aroma, and also uh, creativity. You use a couple of different types of pastry when making these little bad boys, don't you? Absolutely. So, um, first off, we do our pie bottom, yep. which is a short crust. That actually keeps the pie together. And on top, we have a puff pastry, which is obviously laminated with pastry butter, pastry butter. But that's not the only ingredient that goes into these pies, is it? I saw a local butcher delivering out the front. Is that where you source most of your product from? Absolutely. We have a, a local uh, butchery who does our meat, and obviously our fresh produce is locally uh, supplied. Now, most important question of the day. I had this argument with my kids. Yep. With the sauce on a pie, do you spread it on the top? Or do you lift the lid and stick it in the middle? Ah, so that's a great thing about these pies. You won't need to have tomato sauce. <laughs> ah, Gary, you purist. And maybe he's right. Maybe he's onto something. I know the judges at the Perth Royal Food Awards don't use sauce either. With or without it, though, I've got to try one of these pies. Biting into a pie is a little bit like unwrapping a Christmas present. Look, you're excited, but you're not quite sure if you're going to get what you wish for. Let's try. Wow. Normally, you've got to share the food with the crew. Forget it, boys. Get your own. I'm in pie heaven. Next time you're driving past the Miami Bakery, stop in and try one of their pies or pastries. They are award-winning, all possible, thanks to the brilliant work done by the Royal Agricultural Society of WA, a not-for-profit organisation that drives the Perth Royal Food Awards, helping us all identify the best in the West. Mm -hmm.